In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to corporations. First question. Additional shares of its own stock to its stockholders without the receipt of any payment. Either A. Stock dividend. B. Stock gift. C. Premium on stock. D. Discount on stock. Or E. Treasury stock. Let's go through this again. Use the process of elimination to narrow this down. Additional shares of its own stock to its share to its stockholders without the receipt of any payment. So we're giving additional shares of our stock, we're the company, to our stockholders, the owners of the company, and we're not getting payment. We're not getting cash or any other form of payment for it. What would that be? We've got a uh, stock dividend. Uh, maybe because that does sound like a you know, if we're additional shares of stock to the stockholders sounds like we're giving the stockholders something kind of for nothing um, so dividends is when we do that with you know if we give cash dividends we're giving out earnings this maybe we're giving out stock so B says oh, I'll keep that for now in other words <laughs> B says it's a stock gift and you know you can think of it kind of like I mean the corporation is gifting it to the shareholders but that's kind of weird. You don't really, I mean, the shareholders are the owners of the corporation. So that it's not like the corporation is giving a gift to the owners because they're the owners. And so stock gift doesn't really sound like a thing, really. You might gift stock to a family member or something like that, but uh, probably the corporation giving it to a stockholder doesn't sound right. I'm gonna cross that out. C says premium on stock. So additional shares of its own stock um, I don't, premium on stock would say that we, we, that would mean that we issued it for maybe more than it's, uh, th that would mean that we got paid and somehow and we got paid more than maybe it's worth. We might think of a premium or something like that. So premium and discount seems like type of terms we use when we sell something. And we didn't sell it here. We, we didn't get anything for it. So I don't think premium or discount, C or D, sound right. And then E says treasury stock which is another kind of term that maybe, you know, treasury stock is a thing, it sounds familiar. So I'll keep A and E for now, let's go through it again. Additional shares of its own stock to its stockholders without the receipt of any payment is either A or E, either stock dividend or treasury stock. And if you think about it, it's gonna be additional shares of stock to its, to its own shareholders without any payment. The corporation then is giving something to its shareholders which sounds like a dividend. We're giving something, the corporation is giving something out of its earnings to the shareholder or giving something of value to the shareholder. Instead of giving money, they're going to give more value or more ownership of the corporation. So uh, that's going to be a stock dividend is the more proper answer. Treasury stock represents something if we buy back our own stock. So final answer, A, let's go through it one more time. Additional shares of its own stock uh, to its shareholders or stockholders without the receipt of any payment is a stock dividend. <laughs> Next question. Stock dividend is either A, uh, it are repurchase of stock, uh, should be it is, let's say it is <laughs> repurchase of stock, B is a stock sale, C increases assets d does not affect total equity but transfer amounts between the components of equity and e increases revenue let's go through this again and use the process of elimination stock dividends either a i think it should be it is the repurchase of stock so a stock dividend repurchase of stock doesn't doesn't quite sound right because it's a dividend so that means that you know a dividend is us giving something to the owner so it's not a cash dividend it's a stock dividend we're not really repurchasing stock doesn't doesn't sound right and then B says it is a stock sale and we're we're kind of giving it away but it's kind of similar like we're you know, it's similar to a sale we're giving the stock to stock is going out so maybe I'll, I'll keep that for now. C says increases assets, a stock dividend. So a dividend is, is us giving away part of the equity typically. So we're giving away part of equity in a stock. If we're giving away stock, is also part of equity. Doesn't seem like it has anything to do with assets. We're not getting paid. We're not getting any money. 
So I don't think it's going to increase the assets because we're not getting anything. So I'll cross that out. D says does not affect total equity, but transfers amounts between the components of equity. And that sounds yeah, possible, seems reasonable, sounds like kind of complicated there. But again, if we see some answer like this, <laughs> that's very long, detailed, and seems to kind of hedge all its bets in a lawyerly like way to uh, make sure that it possibly is fully correct, uh, is suspiciously correct to me. It seems like, hmm, maybe they really tried really hard not to, uh, to, to cover every base to make sure the full statement is correct by having a more lawyerly type statement. So I'm, I'm suspecting D here. And then E says increases revenue. And again, a stock dividend is taking the revenue that we've earned at, and, and giving it back basically to the owner. So it's not going to do anything to revenue. If anything, you can think of it as decreasing like equity, which revenue is a part of. So E doesn't sound right. I'm going to keep it at uh, B and D and go through this again. Stock dividend is either B or D. Either uh, stock is a stock sale or does not affect total equity, but transfers amounts between the components of equity. And of those two, I'd say that D is, sounds more correct. And it is more correct because it is the correct answer. So and D, that basically means that a, you know, a stock dividend means that we're going we're gonna to give a dividend that will be stock and in essence we're taking it out of retained earnings just like we would on any type of dividend uh and then but and then it's going to be kind of like the um, the stockholder got cash and then reinvested it in other words we're gonna the other side of it's going to go to um, common stock so two components of equity are going up and down retained earnings is going down because we issued the stock but uh, we issued more stock which means more stock is out there, which means we're gonna increase the common stock, which is another component of equity. Total equity then not changing, but the components of equity changing.